Ever since I participated in Commvault Go in 2019, Commvault has been on my radar of companies to follow in the industry. I know, Commvault might have a reputation of not being exactly the sexiest company in the industry, but Commvault today is not your granddad's Commvault. Let me give you a short introduction of what Commvault is and what they are doing these days. Hello, my name is Markus, and this is where we talk everything about enterprise tech, from cloud hype to data protection. Glad to see you joined us. Now, data can be split roughly into two categories, primary and secondary. Primary data is used to run day-to-day -day business, and it's usually stored in a fast storage arrays. Secondary data is for data protection, backups, and archiving. Primary data is important for obvious reasons, but secondary storage is equally important. People just tend to forget this since it all happens behind the scenes, like insurance. However, constant ransomware attacks and service outages are raising the importance of secondary storage to the headlines. As a matter of fact, secondary data and storage have become so important that practically all primary storage vendors like HPE, Dell, IBM, NetApp, Hitachi, and Lenovo are all also offering data protection in their portfolios in some shape or form. But there are also plenty of companies that specialize only on secondary storage or data protection and security, including Commvault, Veeam, Rubrik, Veritas, Druva, and Cohesity. To me, Commvault stands out from the crowd in many ways. First of all, it's not born yesterday. Commvault was established in 1996. That's 27 years ago. So they've been around to see a thing or two. Secondly, they have a solid customer base. Over 100,000 organizations trust their data with Commvault. What I think makes Commvault interesting for these many customers in this super competitive landscape is their holistic data protection suite from backups to recoveries, to security and governance, to migrations and cloud services. There really is a solution for every data protection situation. This saves customers a lot of time and resources, since they only have to master one tool instead of a whole set of different tools. Combo, like practically all other data protection solutions these days, is all about software, so you can run their solutions on your platform of choice. However, Commvault does offer appliances which are joint operations with their server vendor partners like HPE and Hitachi. One interesting example is Commvault Hyperscale X, jointly certified with HPE and running on HPE hardware. Hyperscale X is a super simple, almost all-in-one Commvault backup appliance with high and granular scalability. But more about that maybe in another video. At Commvault Go 2019, Commvault announced Metallic, a backup-as-a-service offering which makes Commvault available as a service for your traditional on-prem environment, cloud, hybrid cloud, and even Office 365, Dynamics 365, or Salesforce. Introduction of Metallic is one of quite many actions that Commvault has taken during the past years to give their solutions a very welcome facelift. Another one is the user interface. So whatever services you choose to use and how or where, it will always be a single user experience from Commvault Command Center. The user interface was just refreshed not that long ago and it looks modern and sleek. Something that companies have realized lately is that secondary data doesn't just have to sit there, even though that might be its priority to idle and wait to be recovered. But since the data is there, why not put it to better use? Analyzing secondary data to achieve various results has turned out to be highly efficient in many cases. In Commvault's case, they have something they call data insights. That is using artificial intelligence and machine learning to analyze the data and provide insights that can be used, for example, to optimize various IT processes. These insights also help Commvault solutions to categorize the data and perform better informed, more secure and more efficient backups. They can even proactively detect anomalies and mitigate ransomware threats. This is super interesting development to me and adds a whole new and interesting dimension to secondary data. That was all from me this time. If you liked the video, remember to hit the like button down below. And if you like to see more of these, subscribe. Until the next videos.